So there's one question that's plagued me since this whole uh, lockdown started about almost two months now. Can a man truly survive without water for more than seven days? Is it possible to exist without that kind of life-giving substance for more than seven days? Science has actually shown us that, yeah, there's no way you can survive without water for more than seven days. But today, on the topic of thirst, we're not gonna talk about thirst for water. We're talking about a different type of thirst. So recently in China, there's been like clips where um, a woman is showing her right off in Ikea. I mean like, why would you show off that kind of stuff in Ikea? I mean, why Ikea? The place where you take your girlfriend and then you play house with her and then she hates you and thinks that you're Nancy and she's Sid. In the midst of all that, with IKEA reporting that to the police and getting the police you know, involved to um, look for which store it is in China. FBI, open up! So we had our own little version with the Twitter handle JCMN2402 in Singapore. And like I said, this whole thirst problem, can we truly survive without? No, we're not doing that again. <laughs> But yeah, so the, the whole like two months of not being able to be with your partners and all, and all that kind of stuff has really started to get to some people. And then I think some of the videos that have been spreading around were before the circuit breakup. But like this newest video, uh, I'm not sure where it is. I think it's somewhere in the land which should not be named. But I don't think so because I've never been there. Uh, but yeah, recently this video started popping up with her uh, exposing herself to the public and it, get, it got me thinking like, come on guys, I know we're all a little thirsty during this um, dry period for more than just water, but you don't really need to do that. And I mean, you know, I heard that COVID can actually uh, get into exposed skin, not just like, you know, when your hands touch things, but or you know, maybe someone nearby was coughing and then like Ooh. onto your chest. Bruh. Personally, for me, I think this whole like uh, thing was kind of ill thought out and that uh, it's not something we should be doing in public. I mean, if you want to do stuff like that, maybe do it when the world isn't in a pandemic. But hey, you know, it might be a sexual fetish and you know, whatever floats your sampan. Okay. Besides that, I don't think I'll really be doing another Covidious video because uh, I've actually seen too many of them online already and like they, most of the other uh, commentators from Singapore have already like covered the points that I want to talk about. Uh, like Snakey Sushi with the crazy old people. Um, we did this whole like 40 minute talk with Raymond Hing the other day. Uh, but the, 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 the moderator for the talk doesn't want to release it, uh, which is fine. Uh, but yeah, so we've done that one too. And every other thing like Sovereign has already been done to death. So I guess this would probably be my last COVID uh, video unless something new and spectacular shows up. So in the meantime, if you guys have any other topics you guys want, want me to talk about or commentate about, just uh, drop the name of whatever you want to talk about in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe. Just joking lah!